So first of all, we can explore the, uh, the walled yard around the musician's house. No monsters will attack us as long as we're within the walls, and there are a few items to get before we leave. Musician has the nicest uh, house we've seen so far in D2. Also has quite a nice uh, walled-in yard. I don't know if this is really used for anything since it seems to be always covered in snow. But uh, we have a little hedge maze. Where we and we can get a first aid spray, we can get shotgun shells, uh, gabombs, and all the... what you usually expect to find in your typical Canadian yard. Not really a hedge maze, just kind of a couple hedges. That are... there to uh, separate sections of the yard, I guess. Okay, so we've gotten those items, we've gotten the gettables that we can get, so we can leave, and unfortunately Parker has taken the snowmobile. So we're going to have to go on foot. Now, as I said before, there is going to be a fork in the road, a couple ways we can take. Uh, to the right on the map of the fork is the priest's house, that's where we want to go. Since we're going to be approaching from the top of the map, that means it's going to be to our left. But yes, the priest's house is the first location that we want to go to. The other locations, uh, Martha's house and the stone bridge, are locked. And here's a tektite. He's red, which means he's stronger than the original blue tektite. I think we only fought a blue one once. Yeah, they go Everything goes down very easily to the shotgun. But we will we uh, will be fighting red and pink versions of the enemies that we have been fighting. Red means that they are stronger and tougher. Oh, and I went the wrong way. This is not towards the priest's house. This is uh, back to the last map, which is blocked off by Parker's truck. You know, Parker, it looked like he was going to escape when the Great Mother just deposited Laura right on his hood, rendering the truck inoperable. So, I feel kind of sorry for Parker, because he was on his way out. But he just got dragged, uh, unwillingly into our party. I guess the Great Mother has some sort of purpose, some sort of ultimate goal for him. Being that Laura is the chosen one, I guess everyone else around Laura have been selected by the Great Mother in order to uh, facilitate her quest. Still, he was the only character who was on the verge of getting out of here. And that's been put a stop to. I guess the Great Mother knows what she's doing though. Alright, so let's turn around. Uh, that was not where we wanted to go. There was another path leading away from the musician's house. That will lead us to that fork from which we can uh, go to the, uh, the priest's house. Fortunately, it's not too far away. We don't have to do a whole lot of walking like uh, on disc one where we were walking to the uh, underground mine. The priest's house is fairly close. Brown versions of the flyers from the last disc. Again, slightly stronger than what we had been getting. But, with the shotgun, really not much of a threat. Of course, those shotgun shells are not going to last forever. But we might as well make use of them while they do. Because honestly, I'm tired of using the submachine gun. There are more weapons, we will be getting further upgrades, but I think the shotgun is the most powerful weapon. There are more versatile weapons, but I'm pretty sure this one is the strongest in terms of pure firepower. So yes, this is the fork. Uh, we, turn we went to the left towards these trees. And that'll take us to the priest's house. Again, first time you play the game, you won't really know which way to go. You might 
go try to the priest's house, you might try Martha's house, you might try to walk all the way to the stone bridge, and that is a long walk. You don't want to do that. But the only place that we can actually get uh, into this time is the priest's house. Everywhere else will be locked. I always find this guy's design to be funny to me. I don't know why. Just the way he stands, I guess. Yeah, that was... Uh, I think I wasted a shell there. I think I, only, I killed him with only two. Didn't even hit him in the weak point. Just blasted his gut out. Don't even need to shoot weak points with a shotgun, I guess. And as you can see, the priest's house is not exactly a house, but it's a ruined church. And there's one, only one room left that isn't ruined, so let's go inside. Oh, who's there? I see. You're the final visitor prophesized in this book. <laughs> Stay and listen to what I have to say about Knife's prophecy. Have you ever heard of William Knife? Last year, he prophesied in his book that a holy figure who oversees the balance of all things would soon come and serve the people responsible for all wrongdoings. <laughs> Do you know what I'm speaking of? I'm talking about that meteorite that hit the northern mountain that gave off a golden hue. <laughs> To protect this turning star from the crimson shadow, and awaken from the folds of time an ancient lord of destruction. <coughs> Only then will hope lie with a child of destiny, born on both shores of history. <coughs> terrible, terrible things. A golden flush tinted the sky. And on that northern mountain, fearfully known as Death Mountain, fell the meteor. Thus, the prophecy is fulfilled, and you are possibly... No, I ought not ask. It is not sanctioned to involve an outsider in this zealotry. Hence, go safely, my daughter. Well, uh, I... Uh, what? So a woman did indeed appear in the light of three remaining candles. Tis very fortuitous. <laughs> Perhaps too much so. If all is according to the book, you would be the child of destiny, born on both shores of history. However... Destiny's child is she who stands before us, born on both shores of history and fated to be here at this moment. You two are just adorable. I have to take a picture. The manual doesn't actually mention this character, doesn't say what his name is, and we don't find out what his name is in the game either. So I guess let's just make one up. By the way, this, um... This prophecy that they mentioned, that line, uh... Born on both shores of history. Remember that one. That'll actually have some relevance a little later. Right, so, so for me, this man is Father Blindy Claw. I guess he's not blind. He looks like he can see, but his eyes just made me think at first that he was blind. Maybe he is. Maybe the parrot transcribes for him. So this is a guy we'll be talking to a few times. 
And you remember in the first disc the way the gameplay worked that we had to go someplace and then walk back to the original cabin and then that triggered something then we would try going somewhere else. This disc has much the same gameplay uh, except it's going to be the musician's house which is our hub. So now that we've been to the priest's house we're not actually going to go to another new location we're going to go back to the musician's house. Also we can explore the ruins of the church there's nothing actually in here, but we can see that it's in it's fallen to severe disrepair. But yes, we'll be going back to the musician's house, and every time we do, something will change. And then that will allow us to go back out and try to go to a new location. So, that's basically what this disc is going to be all about. But before we go back to the musician's house, which is going to be in the next video, I just want to uh, go up another path here. See, there's a path. It leads to a dead end but does give us quite a view of our ultimate destination. Remember that mountain that the wizard was climbing in Lara's dream? That was Death Mountain. That was where the meteor struck the earth. And it would be right there. Right, so that's where we're trying to get to, and we know that the wizard has already reached it. We know that that meteor hit right there, and that is probably, if we can assume, that's, that's where the uh, source of the plant monster infestation, infestation has come from. Oh, by the way, there in the lower right, that is the stone bridge. We uh, could go there now, it would be a long walk, but if we did, it would be pointless. We can't actually cross it right now. If you look in the lower right, you'll see a locked gate. Yeah. We have to cross that stone bridge to reach Death Mountain, but we can't do it right now because that gate is locked. So we have to try to find a way around the gate and across that bridge so we can reach the mountain. And what does await us in the mountain? Does Shadow the Final Destroyer actually exist? What is the wizard's intention? Well, we're not going to find that out for a little bit. We have to figure out a way past this bridge first. See, it's, it's level 9 because uh, it's Death Mountain. It's a, it's a joke. Uh, yeah. So, next time on Let's Play D2, we'll be going back to the musician's house and seeing how Parker and uh, Janny and uh, Kimberly are getting on with the musician. See you next time.